Water wars between New Mexico and Texas are nothing new, but today Texas up the ante, taking its long-standing claim that we are hogging too much water from the Rio Grande to the U.S. Supreme Court, and the stakes are high. Here's News 13's Alex Goldsmith. Dick, this is the lawsuit Texas filed in the Supreme Court today. This is part of an ongoing legal fight that could determine a lot of New Mexico's water future. The 1,900-mile-long Rio Grande. It's drinking water for some. It's a livelihood for others. It's also shared by three states. After a legal battle over who would get that water in the 1930s, those states signed on to a deal to split up the river's supply. The waters split up south of Elephant Butte Reservoir. Typically, New Mexico's gotten nearly 60% of the river's water, while Texas has gotten the rest. But now, there's a new fight. In 2008, the federal government put a new agreement into place. El Paso and southwest Texas farmers claim southern New Mexico farmers are pumping too much groundwater from the river basin, depleting the river. So, the feds awarded Texas a larger share of the river's surface water. New Mexico cried foul, claiming that the state was allowed to use its groundwater and sued the feds. Now Texas is joining the water war. It's suing New Mexico in the U.S. Supreme Court claiming New Mexico is illegally taking billions of gallons of water that should be going downstream. New Mexico Attorney General Gary King responded late this afternoon, saying Texas was trying to steal the state's water and bully it into a bad deal with the feds. The AG's office has previously claimed that deal would cost New Mexico's farming economy nearly $200 million a year and jeopardize the water future of hundreds of thousands of people living in the southern half of the state. The governor's office also responded today, saying the state still needed to review the lawsuit, but said flatly, quote, we won't cede a single inch of New Mexico water to Texas, unquote. Back to you, Dick. Okay, Alex, these are tough water times in New Mexico. Elephant Butte Reservoir is now at its lowest level in eight years, and last year, New Mexico got only about half of our normal precipitation. Today,